All right, what's going on YouTube? Ty with the xking.com, the blog you see before you. In this video, I'm going to talk about what should you not do when starting a blog or running a blog. If you want to start a blog, make some passive income, have an online asset to produce income, these are things you should not do. When I run, I had multiple blogs in the past. I run this blog and I run vortogrip.org as well. So I want to tell you some quick tips on what not to do when starting a blog. So the number one thing you should not do is neglect your blog. The most important thing you could do is hit that publish button and publish content. That's the most important thing you can do. I don't care about Pinterest or social media. The most important thing you could do is hit that publish button on your blog. So, not updating your blog is going to hurt your blog. Cause it is shown that Google will rank blogs that has fresher content over blogs that doesn't. Meaning, if a blog publishes content on a regular basis, they'll have higher rankings than blogs that have been posted in three, four weeks or months. So, neglecting your blog and not posting content on a regular basis will hurt your blog. That's probably the number one thing I can tell you not to do. Do not neglect your blog. Don't let go of your blog. Number two, when you start a blog, you finish it. So the problem with I had, I started a protein blog about protein. I started a blog about organic candles. I started a blog about gambling. Because I wanted a quick fix. I was doing clip bank products, about this stuff like that. And then didn't realize that blogging is extremely long term. It's a long term investment. You gotta put your time in it in the beginning to get paid later on in life. So Forgetting that blogging is long term. Do not pick a topic you can't write about three to four times per week. Pick a topic. Don't pick a topic that you don't know much about. Pick a topic you're learning about or you know a lot about. I don't know a lot about uh, skateboarding, but if I want to get into it, I probably do it for a couple months, then start a, a skateboarding blog, and, I'll, and then. Do whatever it is that you're blogging about. Whatever you're blogging about, you do it. So I practice what I preach. I do up three posts per week. And that's my frequency. Okay? So, um, what else you should not do? You should not post short content. Now, short content and long content go both hand in hand. But don't post a two, three hundred word article answering a question. Those will probably get not ranked. My shortest post would be 800, 900 words with a YouTube video. That do a little better, but don't post super short content. Nine times out of ten won't rank. Um, only do that if you have you're making three. If you're making three to four posts per week, that's okay. But if you do one post a week and you post 200 words, that's not getting anywhere. But if I'm posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, I have four blog posts. One or two of those could be short and two could be long. I post the content on a frequent basis. That's why on YouTube, I not post long videos, but I post two, three minute videos. But I post videos all the time, so it kind of goes in together. So don't post, don't post short content unless you post on a regular basis. Um, and the, what should you not do is neglect it. Uh, uh, don't write short content and write content and don't be spammy don't try to sell stuff right now my site has no ads on my site right now now I'm about to go into running some ads to make a little bit of income from it but my site right now has as you see has no no banner ads that do have a a banner to join my email list I do have that but I don't have um, no ads on this, and this is this is a short blog post too. This is a short. No, I'm sorry, it's not a short blog post. This is my whole screen. But this is my blog, and there's no ads on here. And I'm not trying to, and I do promote product within the blog post, but I don't be super scammy. I might mention it once, or twice in a blog post, but I'm not super scammy about it. There's no ads on the site. There's no flash, click me, click me, click me, click me ads on there to take you off the page. I make 25 cents, but I ain't making no money. 
So, yeah, I'm I'm about to put ads on here, but right now, don't make it super spammy. Don't put links all every paragraph. It's gonna hurt your site. Um, what should you not do? Um, don't be don't don't be a scam artist, and don't post good content that help people. Find a ask, find a question people ask. Give them the question and give them answers beyond the question. Like one question could be how to build a clubhouse in your backyard. You give the first introduction about the benefits of having a clubhouse. The other paragraph should be how to build a clubhouse and answer questions that pertains to the after the fact. So how long does a clubhouse last once built? Write about that in the same paragraph. Or, you know, should you spray, uh, should you treat the wood for your clubhouse during the summer or rain? Write about that. How does a clubhouse handle heavy weather? All these questions that people answer on Google. So answer that in that post. Don't be super scammy. If you don't know the answer, make sure you put, I don't know the answer to this, but I think it's this. I Googled it, I YouTubed it, and this is what I found. Oh, I have a clubhouse in the backyard, and this is what I do with it. Another thing that really ticks me off, that, that this is one you should never do. Don't promote a product you have never used. Don't do a review on a product you have never used. I hate that. I hate, I really do, I hate that. People will do a video and do a blog post on something they don't even have. i give an example. Worthy Bond is an app that you can invest in and you invest ten dollars to the app and they'll buy a bond for you and you get a five percent flat interest rate the top videos for that block for that for that app are people who don't own the app they tell you that oh it doesn't work or the interest, the interest you make don't compound itself or this is not backed by this and how I make money on that but you never download it's a free app it's free you go through ten dollars in there to see if it worked and it took ten dollars out but those, those guys are lazy they're they're lazy people i've done reviews on the worthy bonds app i use the worthy bonds app i've done i put in fifty dollars so i can tell you how much money in it in it how much money i made i can't stand that and it don't it doesn't work these days it does not work. You must show receipts in today's time. So another thing that that, that pisses me off, won't piss me off, but it makes me upset is make sure you own the product or make sure you've used the thing you're trying to promote in your blog post or video. I don't get that. One guy with the worthy bonds, oh, it don't compound interest. Oh, it don't work. It, it, it just don't compound interest. But have you used the app yourself? Have to use the app for a couple of months to see if it did work. You the outside looking in. I'm have the app and it does work. So make sure that don't be spammy. Um, use the what are you promoting? Use it. And the reason I'm looking up here because I have my computer hooked to my uh, TV, so I see a bigger screen here. But I'm looking at the camera. Don't be spammy. Post content on a regular basis. Determine whatever you blog about. Pick a subject that you can write about three to four times per week. And stick with it forever. The worst thing you could do is start a blog, you write 10 posts, and you give up on it. Never give up. Write posts consistently, two, three posts a week. Write nice 1,000 to 2,000 word articles. If you promote a product, make sure you use it or make sure you say, hey, look, I have not used this, but based on my reviews I've read and on YouTube, this is what everyone's saying. Put that in, in put that in the box. Put that in the blog post so people are more aware. You'll get more traffic that way. So write longer content, pick a topic, and stick with it. Don't give up. Don't deviate from it. Don't be spammy. Don't put a couple links in a blog post. That's it. You could run ads in the beginning. I didn't because I want people. I can make money from this blog, but I'm, I'm not doing it in the future. But I don't know. 
And another thing is to is a, is don't give up. Blogging is a long term process. And if you look at my last video, I talked about I have built five income past I, I built five streams of income. Well, two of those five is making me money. My YouTube channel and my dividend paying stocks. My other two blogs that I own, worldgrab.org and sking.com, and my gaming channel has not produced income. But the best thing I could do is to keep putting out content on the YouTube and the blog, keep putting out content, keep building it up, keep building it up with my stocks, keep building it up, keep buying stocks. That, that's, that's how over time you make more money. So that's the end of my video. What should you not do? Do those things below. Always keep hope alive. Always keep on keeping on. I've written a lot of content for the past year. I have not got the, the traffic spike that everyone else get. But guess what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on keeping on. Because once that traffic hits, it's going to stay there. I'm going to make money from this blog. So that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, like the video. Share the video. Check out my blog, that's king.com. A lot of good information. And um, I'll see you next time.